Hello, and do we have an interesting tip for you today. Those of you that know me or been in my classes know that I get excited about learning something new. And today's tip made me go, hmm, I really like that. There was a landmark fair housing civil rights decision issued this year. It was against a third party tenant consumer reporting agency, a screening service, if you would. Automated decisions by third party screening companies are rapidly becoming the norm. Many management companies use them to screen their applicants. They have an accept or decline decision in the case that the agency only stated. So in other words, the agency only states accept or decline. In this particular case, they did a disqualifying based on the criminal record. Most of them don't give you an explanation or don't give you any reason for their decision or how they arrived at their decision. It appears that a federal district court in Connecticut ruled that the Consumer Reporting Agency must follow the Fair Housing Act. You did hear me correctly, must follow the Fair Housing Act. The reporting agency disqualified a disabled Latino man with no criminal convictions from moving in with his mother. The lawsuit alleged that the reporting agency discriminated based on race, national origin, and disability. The court further held that because the reporting company like this one, or because reporting companies like this one, essentially make the rental admission decision for landlords that they must use the same protocol. They must abide by the Fair Housing Act. They must make those decisions in accordance with the fair housing requirements. The court held that the consumer reporting agencies have a duty under the Fair Housing Act not to discriminate in violation of the Fair Housing Act in carrying out their duties. They should incorporate such in their policies and practices for disadvantaged persons with disabilities. Our conclusion tip is you may use third party services to check criminal history, but do not rely on those services to make the final leasing decision. Landlords should insist that the third party service provide detailed information on the decision made by the service. If criminal records are discovered, an assessment should be made as to whether the applicant is or is not suitable for occupancy based on the crime. Landlords should also make certain to have a process in place whereby anyone rejected due to a criminal record can request an appeal and have an individualized assessment. Also, make sure that the criminal guidelines in your tenant selection plans mirror the guidelines of the third party agency that you're using. Remember, HUD sent out a notice on criminal backgrounds and criminal background checks and asked us to make sure that we don't violate another person's civil rights. In this particular case, it was awarded by the court that the civil rights of this gentleman was violated. I don't know about you, but that was good food for thought for me. Tune in next Tuesday for another Tuesday Tip. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. To read the full case and HUD's official memo, follow the link in the description. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next week on Tuesday Tips. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.